Hello, and welcome to my second Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring um, the array modifier in Blender 3D. So I'm not going to waste your time, let's just get started. You open up Blender, and you start out with this first scene. If you want to make an array, all you have to do is start off with a cube, or really it can be any object you want. Um, but I'm just going to use the default cube. Um, then you have to create an object that you want to displace the original object by. So I'm just going to use an empty because I don't want it showing up in my render. Hit the spacebar and add an empty. I'm going to move it over to the left, two units, and arrays are really quite simple. All you have to do, you click on the original object, uh, move your cursor over here to editing, or F9, add modifier, array. You're already halfway there, and now you might be saying, Hey, look! My cube just doubled in size. Well, what an array does is it basically copies your object a certain amount of times in a certain position. Right now, it's set to relative offset, so no matter which way we turn the cube, it'll always be offset um, 1.6 units to the right. Um, for now, I'm going to increase the count, 5, so you, we can see what we're doing. Um, uncheck Relative Offset, and click Object Offset, because we want to offset it by this empty that we already put in. So, I happen to know that the name of this empty is Empty, with a capital, so I'm going to type that in under Object Name. Empty. So, the same thing happened before with a Relative Offset, except this time all the offset calculations are based on the empty. So if we can go ahead and grab the empty and move it around and you'll see that the cubes follow the same pattern. This applies to translation, rotation, and also scaling. And that's it. Now you know how to do arrays. So I'm just going to do a little demonstration here. Um, just for the fun of it, I'm going to move this over and then add another empty. The thing with arrays is, because it's a modifier, you can add as many as you want. So I'm going to hit copy, makes another array, and the second object offset will be set to the second empty. So empty point zero zero one. That's the name of the other one. So now it's it's getting displaced along both of these empties. The first empty and the second empty. So already we have quite an interesting, interesting effect. If we move one of them, it displaces the first object and how it's displaced along the first empty. So I can grab this one and it'll get displaced. <sighs> I'm going to move this over here. So we have a grid, and I'll show you that in perspective mode. This is our first grid of arrays. None of these are destructive processes. For example, we can decrease the count and increase the count however much we want, and um, It'll, it'll never destroy your original object until we click apply and then we see we have more vertices and objects and now they're hard coded in. I'm going to undo that. Alright, so now that we have our array we can edit the original object however many times we want and it'll carry through. So select, just as a demonstration, I'm going to select the vertices and do something easy to notice, like bevel. Bevel them down and you'll see all the arrays and all the copies of the object follow the same modifications. And now for the second part of the tutorial, I show you how to make an animation with arrays. If you followed any tutorials on simple animation, you know that objects can be moved through the use of keyframes. We start at the first frame, 1, and add a keyframe for both empties. I'm going to go with lo location, rotation, and scale, because that'll make things easier in the long run. 
the first thing we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead 19 frames to frame 20. Slightly move each array and then set keyframes again. And jump ahead to frame 100 and 20 and move them again, but this time I'm going to rotate them. Add a keyframe, move, rotate, add a keyframe. Here you can see the IPO curves because I'm in the IPO curve editor. And this is also an easy way to jump from frame to frame. And now that we're done, this is our first simple array animation. Hit Alt-A to preview the animation. And that's it. Now you know how to make arrays and what that's all about. So I hope I was able to help, and goodbye. Good luck.